Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is the Raw After Judgment Day. That was a great pay-per-view. If you didn't see it, part one and part two are in the description and all over the place on my channel. We got Money in the Bank qualifiers, but we also got the WWE Champion, Cody Rhodes, the new WWE Champion, coming out here to speak his mind, celebrate his big win over Seth Rollins in the main event of Judgment Day. Sorry for spoilers, but like... You should have you should have been there. You should have been there to see it. But now Cody Rhodes is here to celebrate the biggest win of his career. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I won the WWE Championship in the main event of Judgment Day. It was a surreal experience, a dream come true, but I'm not out here to boast and flaunt my eminence now that I am the WWE Champion. I'm here to complete one of my many goals when I came back to this company, and that was to get rid of this stupid title design. Like really, we couldn't get some a, a bit less corporate, but in all seriousness, I said that the first thing I would do as WWE Champion was bring back my favorite title design in the long history of designs. So referee, could you please hold up the new WWE title, The Winged Eagle. From here on out, I will be defending the Winged Eagle as the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Ooh, I'm liking this. Cody Rhodes has reintroduced the Winged Eagle as the WWE Championship. Man's got great taste. And now we get to see that belt weekly. No, 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 no. That guy cannot be the representation of my company. Do you know how bad that makes us, <clears throat> me, look? That that guy that used to be over there is the WWE Champion, that he is now the face of my company. Ugh, Theory, go get him. Take that fucking title off of him. Like tonight? No, tomorrow, of course tonight. It's gonna be you versus Cody for the title in the main event. Don't make me regret investing my time into you. No, I shouldn't have trusted someone named Austin. All right, I guess we got a main event, but to open up the show, we got the first qualifier for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Finn Balor takes on The Miz. Let's get it. Finn Balor, the current United States champion after his demon form took down Damian Priest to retain at Judgment Day. Miz gets caught up on the ropes, and now Finn Balor going to send Miz out of the ring. Finn going up to the top rope already, diving to the outside, drops a knee, and now he's back in the ring. Oh my god, my voice cracked. But the Miz fighting back after that splash. Miz dropping a knee and now drop kick to the side of the head. Got him in the corner, running straight at him and a big kick to that side of the head again. This time the other side, I guess. Now sizing him up for a big kick. Miz in the corner again. Runs at him with a clothesline, shoves him back down and now he's got him for a DDT. That pad to DDT by the Miz and now he's gonna look for the skull crushing finale already. Finn Bauer standing switch, gonna turn it around. And now he's got him, he's got him up for his own bloody Sunday. Finn Bauer, no wait, Miz caught him. Miz, not gonna go down that easily, went for a drop kick, Finn Balor now got him a brain buster! And now a 1960 from Finn Balor, sling blade, he's gonna roll through, he's got Miz down, Miz is sitting down, and now a drop kick, going up to the top rope as Finn Balor, but wait, Miz is up, oh, and he, he gets out of the way, now Miz had him on the outside, no springboard, Finn Balor, now ducks under Pele kick, no, Miz trying to fight back here, big jab, big jab, once again, big boot lays out Balor, Balor, Caught his leg. Now what's he going for? He got him in the corner. Set up. Perched. Drop kick. The shotgun drop kick. Perfect positioning. This leads to the coup de gras. Finn Balor to become the first in the men's money in the bank ladder match. Yes. Finn Balor has done it. Your United States champion, the first to qualify for the men's money in the bank ladder match. We got three more for Raw and four for SmackDown over the next few weeks. They're bound to be great, so you gotta stay tuned for those. Our next match is a bit of a weird one. We have the unlikely duo of AJ Styles and Edge, given all their history, going up against the Dirty Dogs. Now this all came about when Edge was complaining about how he hadn't been on the show, and then AJ Styles called him an old grumpy old man, but look at this rude bomb from Bobby Roode. I was gonna tag in Dolph Ziggler, but AJ was telling him that maybe he could help Edge get back on track. He could help him get back to the old Edge. But Dolph went for a chop, AJ ducks under Pele kick. And Edge accepted this offer, but he didn't look too convinced. He had the crazy eyed look. AJ going to town on the legs of Dolph Ziggler. He had that crazy look in his eyes that I don't, I don't trust him right now. I do not trust him. I didn't trust him before. I didn't trust him now. 
big drop kick, but they seem to be working together perfectly fine right now. He sends Ziggler into the corner and rebound German suplex. He's going to tag in Edge, the first action we've seen from Edge in this universe mode. Now he's going after Robert Roode, and he just flipped him off. <laughs> he just flipped him off. Roode got him, though. Roode, no wait. Edge ducking under. Edge and Bobby Roode or Robert Roode, whatever you want to goddamn call him, going at it. And now big... Big shot takes him down. Good sequence from those two. But Robert fighting back. Oh, he's rolling through. He's rolling through. He's going for a pin. He's going to... Oh, I thought he was going to catch Edge. He's got him up on his shoulders. But Edge is fighting back. Those elbows. Elbows right to that beard. Fighting off of it. And now he's got him for the execution. I've seen that move. Now he's setting up for the spear. But Dolph. Dolph caught him. And now big clothesline. Takes down. And now Spide Buster. And now look at this. Going for his own execution. The glorious DDT. Floats over into the cover. Will the Dirty Dogs pick up a huge victory? No, Edge kicks out. AJ didn't even look to help him. That was a bit weird. Uh, Edge caught Robert Roode's foot. Spins him around into a spear. Holy shit. Nobody's going to tag in AJ. He's going to let AJ get the final blow. The Styles clashed on Robert Roode. It, will this be a win for AJ and Edge? Yes, it will. Okay. AJ and Edge working together, coexisting. I, I I don't know if I fully trust it yet. Edge looks a bit too happy right now. You know you know you know what I'm getting at. Edge looks a bit like, and AJ doesn't look too convinced. Mr. Pierce, you said you had a major announcement regarding the Money in the Bank pay per view. Yes, in fact, I do. Now you saw earlier tonight Finn Balor became the first to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, but we have not yet had a qualifier for the women's Money in the Bank. It is because I have decided that since we have seen nearly every woman on the Raw roster in action the last four weeks, that I've seen enough to see who is worthy of getting this opportunity. Number one is Bianca Belair. She was in the women's title match, but she was not pinned, therefore she qualifies. Then there's Asuka and Rhea Ripley, two front runners for women's champion throughout the point system, but didn't make it due to unlucky circumstances. Finally is Alexa Bliss. We think she's cleared up her mental state enough to where she can be in this match. Plus, she was near the top of the rankings in the point system. I apologize to everyone who isn't a part of this match, but it is. A I don't want to be in your stupid Money in the Bank ladder match. I want the title. I want Becky Lynch at Money in the Bank. Not a chance at a briefcase that might get me a title. I should have been in the title match at Judgment Day. Uh, actually, I think you versus Becky at Money in the Bank is a great idea. And I think I can fit in a last chance qualifier next week. I is, is that all, all right? Perfect. I'm also having a match right now and you can't stop me. Rhea, I don't think we have time tonight. It's official. I guess it is. Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's title at Money in the Bank and a last chance qualifier for the women's ladder match next week. That's official. It's not the same when she already said it. All right, I guess we always have time for Rhea Ripley and a poor Dana Brooke just gets thrown to the wolves, which is just an angry Rhea Ripley. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, Rhea Ripley. I guess she's got a match. She's throwing Dana. I guess she's got a match with Becky Lynch for the Raw Women's title and now flexing on Dana Brooke while stepping on her. What the? Oh, Dana fighting back. Dana, no slouch. Now gonna roll through. Going for a pin. Cause she should catch Rhea. Oh, she could have caught Rhea. Oh, went for a drop kick. A Rhea big kick. God damn, short on clothesline. Gonna get her back up and do another short on clothesline. You guess it. She's going for a third short on clothesline. Rhea Ripley now going straight into a leg drop. Rhea Ripley, no, Dana, Dana still fighting back, big clothesline, okay, Dana going up to the top rope, but Rhea springs up, now Rhea gonna run straight at her and throw her back down off of the top rope, and now stomping, stomping away, stomping away, at Dana Brooke, poor Dana, and now already going for the Riptide, and now wait a minute, she's not going for the pin off of it, she's going for that submission, she's going for that submission, holy shit, that, that, look at the torque, the torque on that shit, Dana is in a lot of pain. I'm in pain just looking at it. Yeah, Dana tapped. I think I think it was obvious she was going to tap from that. Rhea making very quick work of Dana Brooke. She's got a match for the Raw Women's title, I guess. Oh, and speaking of Raw Women's title, here comes the new Raw Women's champion, Becky Lynch. Look at the way she carries that title. Making it known that she is the champion. She beat Liv Morgan and Bianca Belair at Judgment Day. <laughs> you you gave up a shot at the Money in the Bank ladder match to have a match with me? How stupid do you have to be to do that? You don't know what you're getting yourself into. Oh, wait a minute. Rhea's not having it. Rhea's not having any. Becky's still laughing at her. Still just laughing at Rhea Ripley. Did Rhea make the wrong choice? Now we have a highly anticipated main event. 
Austin Theory versus Cody Rhodes in the first WWE Championship defense in the Winged Eagle era. Okay, Austin Theory has been sent on a mission by Vince McMahon to take the title off of Cody Rhodes because he is not happy that Cody is from that place that shall not be named and has the WWE Championship being the face of the brand. He does not like this. So now he has to send his protege, Austin Theory, at him, but it's not working too well. Springboard clothesline from Cody Rhodes. Now he's up to the top rope, but Austin is, is up. But Cody sends him off off the top rope. DDT from the top. And now going to turn him around for that Kudo driver. That vertebraker got him up. Oh my god. His neck has got to be hurt from that. Going for the crossroads, but Austin Theory fighting back. Oh, but look at this. Small package. Austin Theory is a small package to win the WWE Championship one day after Cody won it. But no. Austin Theory went for a, a, a spinning forearm. Oh my god, that sent him all the way down. But Theory is still fighting back. Big kick. Takes him down. Went off to the top rope. But Cody kips up. Cody kips up. Wait. Austin sends him back off. Gonna fly. Double X handle. Takes down Cody. And now kick to the gut. Going for a suplex. No. Drops him on his knee. Austin Theory, oh my god. Austin, now gonna get him up. Super kick to the gut. And now this is what I like to call the A-Town Down. Way better than what he's got in real life. Austin going for the pin on Cody Rhodes, y'all. Cody kicked out, Austin cannot believe it. He thinks the ref was screwing him on that count, but gets caught for a German suplex. Now gets sent into the corner, went for a shot. Austin Theory gonna fight back out of it, big drop kick, no. Cody dodged it. Big shot. Going for that crossroad, maybe. No, Austin. Now, big kick once again. But wait, Austin was up on the top row, but Cody caught him. He's got him for the muscle buster. Okay, Cody. I guess he's adding that to his repertoire. Now he's got Austin up. Oh, the crossroads. Crossroads on Austin Theory. Will this be at the first defense, possibly, in Cody Rhodes' reign? Yes. Cody Rhodes defends the winged eagle. WWE Championship in his first title defense on the main event of the first Raw after Judgment Day. I thank you all for coming out. We are on the road to Money in the Bank, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can figure out what's going to happen at this Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Oh, wait a minute. Ugh, this can't be happening. I have to get this title off of him at all costs. If I have to send the whole roster at him, I will. Even though you fired all of them, Johnny, he will defend that title every single week until someone takes it off him. But Vince? Shut up. I'm going home.